Let's face it, life isn't easy. If you're stuck in a bad relationship, betrayed or afraid of tomorrow, financially insecure or desperate for a breakthrough, you've come to the right place. Dr. Carmen Hara is a renowned psychologist, intuitive, relationship expert, and best-selling author, and she's here to give you the miracle guidance you need. Her new call show, Miracle Guidance for Everyday Life, offers profound wisdom, practical advice, daily exercises, and empowering predictions, all for you. Dr. Hara's show aims to eliminate everyday problems, big and small, with topics like healing your relationships, reclaiming your power, achieving better health, dealing with loss, and so much more. Regain the joy, stability, and fulfillment you deserve to feel. Tune in to Miracle Guidance for Everyday Life with host Dr. Carmen Hara, live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern, and find the answers you've been looking for. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Miracle Guidance. I'm Carmen Hara, live every Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on Home Time Radio. And uh, tonight, I have a special guest. And we want to help you change your life. Probably you heard this many times, but the truth is that we all want to change our lives in some ways. Maybe we want to get a better job, find a new relationship, fix the problems in the family, heal ourselves from certain diseases. Any and all solution become possible when you elevate your beliefs. Uh, if you've been experiencing physical and emotional pain, you will be comforted to know that there is a highly effective holistic way to restore the body, the mind, the spirit. And within you right now, this ability to change the trajectory of your life exists. And my special guest tonight will show you how. As you know very well, all things begin and end in the mind. Your mind is the most powerful part of you. Uh, it dictates what you feel and how you feel. It regulates your body's function. It, it holds on endless supplies of memories, information. So your mind is truly an incredible tool. And when you learn to work with your mind, use more of your mind and heal your mind, you can use um, this ability to bring anything to life. The health of your body and relationships are just a reflection of your mind. Negative thoughts and, and pattern of negative thoughts uh, and core limited belief seriously affect us. Uh, and then, you know what I mean? They can transform uh, into um, high self-esteem, deep resilience and quicker recovery of your mind, body and spirit. So it's, it's very significant to know how to work with your mind. Your subconscious mind is also the place where your most powerful thoughts are kept. Here lies the building blocks of your beliefs, your desire, your fear, your emotion, your memories. The most profound abilities are carefully stored in those deepest layers of your subconscious. Now I want to introduce you to my fabulous guest, one of my favorite people ever. He's an expert on the human mind, and he is no one other than the amazing Dr. Darren Wiseman, my colleague in the field of self-help, spirituality, and a man I, I admire deeply. Dr. Wiseman is a holistic physician. He's the developer of the Lifeline Technique, and he's the best-selling author of numerous books, The Power of Infinite Love and Gratitude. Uh, awakening to the secret core of your mind, the heart of the matter, his children's book, The Daily Lesson of Infinite Love and Gratitude. I so love this infinite gra love and gratitude uh, because it's exactly all that we need. Now, Dr. Uh, Darren Wiseman, uh, he's a, a, contri a contributor. He's an author with Dr. Imoto at his best-selling book, The Healing Power of, of, of Water which everybody heard. He's an international speaking, the field of consciousness, and he's been featured in the, in the films Emotion, Making Mankind, Beyond Belief, The Truth, and the award-winning documentary Heal. Now, Dr. Weisman has written for numerous magazines, including Natural Health, Huffington Post, Prevention, In Style, and he was named the thought 
a leader for the United Breast Cancer Foundation and United Women's Health Alliance. How wonderful is that? Now, based on his life work and research, almost 20 years ago, actually in 2002, Dr. Darren developed the Lifeline Technique. So fascinating. And he established the Lifeline Center offering so many uh, services um, from educational courses to personal development to uh, to collective visions of creating a world peace through inner peace. The Lifeline Technique has drawn uh, uh, thousands of students from all over the world and he has, I think, around 700 people who have been certified Lifeline practitioners in 24 countries. How amazing is that? Now, Dr. Darren has his own team, and he created, you know, an amazing business, the business building modules and coaching for those who are looking to discover their professional uh, leading edge. So in addition to all of this, he's the director of the Lifeline Wellness Center, and I can go on and on and on and talk about <laughs> Dr. Darren, who loves life, who loves learning, who serves all of us. On, and he is what? He's my guest tonight. How lucky am I? Dr. Darren Weisman, welcome to my show. And I cannot express enough gratitude that you taking your time to be with me tonight. Thank you so oh. much. Oh, it's such an honor, Dr. Carmen. <laughs> Thank you for having me on Miracle Guidance. I feel so grateful and so honored to share our time together. So we have too many, so many things to say. I, I don't know if I should, uh, I should, first of all, I should invite everybody to call in because I know that we do have, um, like my producer said, oh my God, we have a full house. All the lines are busy. So uh, everybody now from Kim, you know, to Susan, to Pauline, uh, uh, to Abina, all, all of you guys that are calling to talk to Darren, Dr. Darren, hold on the line. We'll be with you in a minute. But I will want to introduce before anything something that, with your permission, I want to talk a little bit about because I know that this is so important for everybody to know that you're offering a free webinar called Evolve Your Mind, Change Your Life. I love this title. And yeah. it, it helps giving people a, an understanding of the cause of their pain. And you develop something that is a groundbreaking um, technique of three phase process to help achieve and maintain health. And of course, everybody wants that thriving life and you are helping people to achieve that. Tell us a little bit. I want people to know that that happens this Saturday, on Saturday, May 1st, 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. Eastern. So don't forget Saturday, May 1st, uh, 11 a.m. Eastern, 10 Central time. And you are gonna you giving this free webinar. So tell us a little bit more, and then we go. We're, we're gonna go to the topic today. Yeah, for sure. You know, in the webinar, we're gonna be talking about something that I've discovered over. You know, I've been in practice for almost thirty years, but I developed the right. Lifeline technique, this roadmap of the subconscious mind, uh, almost twenty years ago. And in this webinar, I'm gonna share this. Um, three-phase process that I've developed that helps walk people through the process of completely evolving their mind, detoxifying their mind, regenerating their mind, and creating a thriving mind. Most people think like, oh, I need to detoxify my body, but every, every aspect of our mind right. is in our cells. Our mind lives in our cells. So if you want to change your body, you got to change your mind first. So there's there's a process that we share, and it's going to be chock full of so much amazing information that people will really learn a much bigger vision of how they can really see themselves moving through significant disease, health challenges, stressful circumstances in their life. There's no cookie cutter approach, but there is right. a real roadmap that people can learn and, and evolve your mind, change your life. We're going to be revealing that and, and sharing so much more. Well, we said that, and you know very well, everything begins in the mind. And yeah. you said it so well. I mean, people try to detox their liver. People go to exercise to release the feel-good hormone. They try ways to change diet, you know what I mean? So in order the body feels better if you lose weight, you know, and do everything for, for detoxifying everything else except detoxifying the negative thoughts, the imprints, 
uh, within the mind, the pattern of right. behavior that is the right. root of the problem. So I, I think that what you are doing, you may, you're raising consciousness and making people understand how significant it is, you know, to release energies in your mind and, and cut off those negative pattern of behavior to be able to start, start fresh, to be able to regain your oneness, your totality, to become whole with yourself, you know, and to actually heal. Is this is done yeah. for healing process. Yeah, so, it, uh, is, it is done for healing process. When you change the mind, the cells in your body do begin to change. That's the beauty of it. And, and so many people, Dr. Kerman, aren't aware of the experiences in our lives um, lived in our minds, and most of our mind is invisible. And so right. because of that, it's, you know, the concept of, of the mind is, to me, I think it's more well-known and accepted than ever before. But what does it mean? Like, how to do it? Like, how do I do it? There really is a, a way that anyone, no matter what you're going through, can access your subconscious invisible mind and transform the limiting belief and patterns of negative thinking that are affecting health and affecting well-being on, on all levels. Now, you know, you're talking about, okay, accessing the subconscious mind with everything is stored and the subconscious mind, all those patterns, all those uh, negative imprints, you know, uh, created through life, you know, they store yeah. in the subconscious mind. And we do operate a lot on the, the 10% that is of the brain, we operate on the cognition, on the sensory level. And what yeah. you're actually doing, you're opening the door of the subconscious to release everything that is there, you know, to, to delete all those files, to help people, you know, understand the mechanism in which they function and, and help them um, heal by accessing information that exists already, that they've never revisited or they've, they've never acknowledged um, that, that that subconscious creates the pattern of behavior that are uh, unhealthy. So um, um, if the mind is invisible, how can we actually heal at the subconscious level? Yeah, I mean, it's a great question. And, you know, there's different ways that people do access their subconscious mind, like through hypnotherapy or, mm -hmm. you know, through meditation. Right. But I've developed a process that uses kinesiology, muscle reflex testing, uh, the wow. reflexes of the body that enable me to be laser-like focused. Like I'm, right. I just, in, the second I meet somebody, I know what is going on with this. Immediately I'm able to get to the core belief and begin the process of transforming it and evolving it um, very quickly because we use reflexes. We know that um, the reactive subconscious mind is either being triggered by something in our environment, someone in our environment. And I want everybody just to think about this for a second. Like, yeah. take a moment, like, you know, think about your life right now. And, you know, what is it about your life, whether it be your health or particular relationships or circumstances that no matter what you seem to do, you keep on struggling and that the pattern yeah. goes on again and again. The relationship is the same emotion, the same situation, different face, different name. And the thing about that, that's the subconscious mind. That in and of itself is the subconscious mind. And by utilizing kinesiology, by using a step-by-step -step approach and creating really rapport, we're creating rapport with this reactive subconscious part of ourself. We're creating a loving, grateful relationship with this part that shows up as what? autoimmune disease, cancer, allergies, digestive challenges, shows up as anger, fear, overwhelm. How do you create a loving, compassionate relationship with it? But there, you, there, it's actually really, it's yeah, simple so to do and it's beautiful and it's, it's just so a true. shift of perspective that when people are guided, um, it's really, it's so profound. I wanna share something real quick. I had a session with a woman. Uh, I just had my third session with her. And on the first session, she came in with a 10 year heart condition and she had been wow. to all these, wow. you know, medical specialists and all these medications, different things. And she was scared every day that she was going to have a heart attack and that she right. wasn't going to be, you know, able to be there for her child. It started after she gave birth to her child 
And what was amazing is at the end of the first session, all the symptoms that she was having were gone, were gone. And then, so then she came back for the second session and she's like, she's flabbergasted because she's like, wow, I actually can't believe I don't feel this anymore, but I'm scared that it's going to come back. So we went in deeper. And um, so the, the, I'm the, you know, the reason I'm sharing this is that it doesn't matter how, like what you're experiencing or how long, if you're open to change, if you're open to learning, then you can begin a process where people that are experts in this can guide you in helping you in your process uh, of, of changing your health and your well-being and your life. But I really think that your technique is truly incredible, you know. And I really think that you're right when you say you go to the heart of the matter. You go exactly to yeah. where the problem is. You pinpoint where the problem started because you always yeah. need to go back to where the problem was created. You know what I mean? In order to be able to understand what happened to you. And when you have a deeper understanding, then there is a chance to heal. And, and I want to say something, though, here on this, too. Sometimes that's true. And sometimes that's not. For example, when I'm working with a child who, you know, is pre, like pre-verbal, you know, or, you know, if when I do this process, you don't have to understand it. When I'm working with animals and all of a sudden symptoms that they're having, all of a sudden they're not having it, you know, it's not really about, it, it isn't therapy. If therapy is amazing, it's therapeutic. It sure. literally is about connecting with the subconscious, which we do through muscle reflex testing, and then walking through a specific proven process roadmap that enables one to begin to entrain the reactive memories and beliefs into the highest vibration of heart's intention and desire. There's a dance that we set up that allows our higher self to meet our lower self. And you don't have to understand this for it to work, but it's, I find it to be really interesting that we literally entrain this reactive fear-based part with infinite love and gratitude and we raise its vibration. The natural byproduct is the body's designed to heal. I don't do the healing, the body's designed to heal. Um, the natural That's byproduct sure. of human yeah. beings is we're loving, we're loving, compassionate, accepting, forgiving beings, except when we're in a reactive state, when a human being is in a reactive subconscious state, when we're driven by memories, for example, of like when we're children, we're dangerous. We're dangerous to ourselves. We're dangerous to each other's. These reactive patterns affect us and how we show up in business and how we show up in intimacy and how we don't show up. And so when we start to shift this, Dr. Carmen, all of a sudden, this natural self-acceptance, this natural compassion starts to grow towards yourself. People that were triggering you, all of a sudden you're like, wow, it's like water off of a duck's feathers. It rolls off. You start noticing that you're bulletproof and resilient to to what once was um, really taking you down. Incredible. This yeah. is so incredible. Now, I know that we've been talking a lot about beliefs, in which way our beliefs impact our mental yeah. health, our physical health. And I want you to tell me a little bit your take on the beliefs. Well, it's interesting because the nature of the mind is that the mind produces thoughts. Right. And on an average day, the mind will produce 11,000 to 60,000 thoughts a day. And out of that, out of those 11 to 60,000 thoughts a day, 80% of them are negative. And it's just the design of the mind. It's like a battery. Most of the battery runs from the negative charge to the positive charge. It's just the design of it. It's just how it is. We judge that it negative thought is there, but there's actually meaning and purpose. But my point here when it comes to beliefs is, when a thought starts to repeat itself, it becomes a belief. Of course. And so, right? And, and that's it. And so when we think about limiting beliefs, it's just thinking negative thoughts over and over again and buying into that as that's who you are. 
you know, and that's who we become. The nature of where these negative thought patterns and limited beliefs come from is, as you mentioned right from the get-go, is that they're imprinted and conditioned um, primarily in this lifetime. And I know I can say that openly here. I'll say it openly anywhere. But the reality is, is that beliefs come from generational patterns. Beliefs come from past lives. Beliefs come from cultural beliefs that influence us. Um, you know, so, but between conception and seven, um, our brain waves are primary alpha, theta, and that means it's what's called hypnagogic. And that means that we are completely impressionable. We're in a hypnotic state from conception to seven. And so everything that we experience in our environment, the loving and the fearful things get imprinted and conditioned in our mind from what? from our family, our parents, our siblings, oh, exactly. what is our race, what is our gender, what is our religion, what is our politics, what is our economic experience? All of this gets imprinted, but the biggest thing more than anything, Dr. Carmen, is our relationship with our own mother. And in and, and the consciousness of our own mother, that ultimately creates the most profound beliefs that live in our subconscious mind. And um, when we're capable and we are capable of, of accessing them and raising their vibration, the most significant changes occur within us. Well, what happened with all those the kids that have terrible relationship with their mother or mother abandons them or, you know, I mean, it's critical of them. What happens there um, through the course of someone's life? You know, and you can, hear, you can look at the world today and we have over 150 autoimmune disorder and they are growing the number is growing yeah. and yeah. it's scary and that all this autoimmune is it is uh, 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 a reflection of um, the the struggle that we have within ourselves those imprints those uh, 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 issues that are uh, uh, stored in the subconscious and never processed never understood so we cannot yeah. make peace with ourselves so we develop yeah. all these problems, you know, from diabetes type 1 to uh, uh, celiac disease to eczema to asthma and so on and so forth. And it's scary how many they are. And almost everybody has an autoimmune disorder, you know, plus the genetic mutations that are very common nowadays, you know. So and, and that's another thing. So something that happens within ourselves that shows that we are having internal battles that, um, uh, and here's you, you come in and you come in and you help people heal this. And that's fascinating. And that's uh, the most amazing thing that anybody can do. That's why I applaud you for, for the work that you do in, in shifting mm -hmm. people's uh, beliefs. We used to say yeah. you can never go beyond your belief, which is very true. You yeah. know, belief, beliefs are limiting you, the way you look at yourself, at the world around, the way you relate uh, to the world around. But um, uh, I think that what you are doing and your uh, t techniques are absolutely so profound and so remarkable, so life-changing. Because you yeah. know exactly where the problem is coming from. Yeah, and you know, here's the deal. I don't even call problems problems. Like anywhere right. there's pain right. in the body, anywhere there's stress in the mind, anywhere there's struggling and suffering relationships, I call it a portal. A portal. And, and just yeah, think about exactly like, it. Yeah. right? Like what's a portal? But a portal is a doorway. It's an opening to another place. And so every problem is an opening a doorway to the next greatest version of ourselves. True. And so we get to the root of the portal. And so as you're talking about like, you know, kids that grow up in environments of rejection and trauma and, and different things like that, you know, you're so right. The body is a reflection of the mind. The body speaks the mind. And when there are, are unprocessed memories, those unprocessed memories right. are emotionally charged. And so when those unprocessed memories of in this environment, like mom's like, she's gone, dad's gone, like all of a sudden, like whatever it might be, you know, it gets triggered later in life by a color, a smell of spaghetti, um, a certain mm -hmm. song from Simon and Garfunkel, whatever it might be, right. all of a sudden it activates it. Mm -hmm. And the, because the brain and the body don't know 
the difference between memory, reality, or imagination, the memory comes to life and the brain starts to produce the emotional chemicals of that environment of rejection again and again and again. And then we call that autoimmune disease. We call that cellular disease. We call that cancer. We call it whatever it might be. It affects our immune system. It affects every aspect of our cellular health. And, right. you know, and so it's, it's so significant and it's, it's really, I mean, I find it to be insane to tell you the truth that this is not just common knowledge in every physician's awareness because, True. you know, I'm okay with the concept of medicine or people making right. a choice about a vaccine or different things. I'd say, hey, you got, you do, you do, and different things save lives. But if we don't understand the power of our mind, and we do through the power of placebo, we know right. that a placebo <laughs> right. and Harvard test Harvard research is 90 plus percent successful. So Incredible. instead we put yeah. trillions upon trillions of dollars in medications that are so harmful when, it, when we can truly harness the power of our mind and therefore influence our body so in a natural, effective, and oftentimes quicker way than anything you could ever imagine. Oftentimes. Absolutely. Phenomenal. Yeah, I know. Phenomenal. I know. Phenomenal. It is. Um, I'm going to ask you if you're okay to take some calls. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. We have so many people who would love, love, Good. love to talk to oh, you. Oh, me too. And I'm, I'm going to go to, but just before I go, can you tell us like in, in, in two, three sentences, the three-phase process to, yeah. to, um, to create that, that, that uh, uh, healing? How, yeah, how it, So that can, people can understand, get something yeah. Uh, practical, yeah. And I want, to, I, want to have it under, I want people to have an understanding. When people first start working on this level, they right. have what I, I have come to coin toxic mind syndrome. And toxic mind syndrome is when we are driven by negative thoughts and limiting beliefs. We're constantly in a place of please make mm -hmm. it go away, avoid it, blame, pretend it's not going on. In right. that place, we've got to detoxify the mind. So there's a process that we bring people through a, a series of lifeline sessions so that we truly detoxify. It's more intensive because the fear-based patterns, they, they got a grip on us. But once you go through that phase of detoxification of the mind, what you start to notice, and it's so liberating, is you start noticing that there's more positive thoughts, compassionate, accepting, loving, grateful thoughts about yourself, about your life, about your past, about your future. In, 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 the, in that phase of, of doing sessions, you know, the person's learning tools, starting to understand their mind, their body, their passions, their purpose. They're becoming, you know, aligned with an inner truth and a remembrance of who we are, which is divine beings. We are pure love and, and, and light. Once we go through that regeneration phase, we reach a peak potential, human peak potential. And I call that the thriving phase. And at the thriving right. phase, you're at the leading edge of manifestation and creation and design of a life you love to live. I mean, that's the nature of it. So it's detox, regeneration, thriving. But when guiding people at the Lifeline Wellness detox, Center Detox, regeneration, and thriving. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the three so it phases. Start, it has to start with detoxification. Absolutely. Always. Always. Yeah. 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 And when you detox, you know, you, there's that extraordinary need to to implement something else, to regenerate, to give you like a new big, it's like a new beginning. When you yeah. access that regeneration, you know, and tap into this ability of you to regenerate and start fresh again, then you see your life growing, expanding, and then you, then you thrive. Absolutely. It makes perfect yeah. sense. It's kind of like autumn. You got to let go of the autumn leaves so you can burn right. new uh, leaves in spring. If you don't let go, then spring isn't going to be so good. Absolutely. That's exactly yeah. it. I'm going to go to Kim in Florida. Hi, Kim. You've been patiently waiting for a very long time. How are you, my dear? Of course. How are you guys doing? We're good. good. How are good. you, We're Kim? We're so happy to talk to you, my Kim. Yes, 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 yes. So I was calling back. Um, it's been like maybe three weeks since we spoke. Um, and I want to talk to you about um, the gentleman that I started to see. Um, and things have been going really good. He asked me to be his girlfriend, he, but there's some things 
I, I know that he was going through some stuff. I remember I told you um, um, uh, with his divorce and all that kind of stuff. And it just seems like every so often he'll just like kind of shut down and doesn't explain anything to me. And it's just like almost like it's like he's, he's like drifting. And then and I don't like that. And I, I was just wondering if there was something going on with him. So um, it, when I ask Dr. Darren, what he thinks when somebody is like uh, 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 gets stuck somewhere, you know, because that, that's so we're having here a case, you know, of a relationship. Yeah. In which, you know, the partner uh, manifest the tendency to uh, to stop his his relationship somewhere, you know, and to turn around and go backwards instead of moving forward. Yeah. And what kind of a what's happening here? What's really going on? Well, I have a I have a question for Kim. You know, sure. as a result as a result of your partner Kim like shutting down and drifting, how does that make you feel? What emotion well, does that cause me- you to feel? It just, it makes me kind of, it makes me sad. It makes me wonder. And, and I've questioned this. He just said he's going through a lot of things with change, change of life with his kids and, and, his, and just moving out of his home. And I get it, but I ask him let to me, please communicate. I ask him to please communicate ask, that because I don't, I, question, I don't want to wonder. Oh, go ahead. Let me ask you a question. I, I just want to, cause I want to, I'm going to help you have a different perspective towards this. I, I want to really just get into your emotions. And as far as the sad feeling from him shutting down and all the excuses and reasons and different things, what do you, uh, on a scale of zero to 10, zero is nothing, 10 is the worst. What do you rate the sad feeling that you have based upon this dynamic with your partner who keeps shutting down and drifting? Well, he doesn't do it often, but it, it's, it's been eight weeks. So it's been, you know, maybe four times, which isn't a whole lot. But, and I understand people need space. I totally get that. I have a daughter. She needs space too. It's anxiety. What do you but rate I, it? Is what I was asking. I just rather you know, what do I rate it when I'm feeling yeah. that way. It's like yeah, I tune into the sadness. You didn't call in for no reason. You called in because this is going on. And so, what do you rate the sadness that you're feeling? I mean, I, I have security with him because he's so what do wonderful. You rate the feeling of sadness. I guess I rate it maybe of it could be a three or a four. Okay, and what other emotion do you feel as your partner's drifting and? you know, and, you know, he's shutting down and not showing up in the way that you desire. What other emotion do you feel? Well, it's just, I guess, well, sad, is, I guess it's made me, my anxiety just, like, it just makes me anxious. Mm-hmm. And what do you rate the anxiety that lives inside you, sweetheart? It's right there, three or four. Okay, so not so much, just enough that's just getting your attention, is that what you're saying? Well, that's like the low, right? Yeah. Z- like zero yeah. is nothing. Ten means get me off the planet. Death would be better. Like, what do you rate it? <laughs> right? Uh-huh. I mean, well, I mean, I was, I was, I mean, it's not, I have, like I said, there is like a security there, but I understand he's going through stuff and I get that, but it doesn't make me, it still doesn't, I'd rather have communication from him. So, I mean, it could be three or four. I mean, it's just, you know, I, as soon as I ask him, are you okay? Then he's kind of like, that's just kind of like, he's like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. It's just been just a crazy busy day. And, but he, yeah. he's not one to, you know, I'm going, I have, he's not a complainer. He's not, you know, a, a, you know, I don't know, but I was just wondering is, is, are we, are we still good here? Like, I, I mean, I feel like we are, but like, why is he shutting down is my question. I, yeah. I have a birthday. And, and Kim, you know, more than anything, just from just to give you a perspective of yourself, because everything that you experience and everything we all experience outside of ourselves comes from something within us. Everything that we all experience on one level or another, we can we can bring back to our own subconscious mind. And and are you are you looking to have an understanding of this or no? Yes, absolutely. Okay, cool. Because I have a question for you. Would you ever choose to create your life where your partner shuts down and drifts and then you feel sad and anxious or any other emotion on any level? Would you ever choose that? No. The answer is hell no, not a chance. Right? You would never Correct. choose it, but it's, but it's going on, right? Right. So the question is, why is it going on if you're not choosing it? And the key here is to go, what's not a choice or an action, Kim, is a reaction. 
And that's significant because the reactive part of you, Kim, is your subconscious. And you have a memory that's being triggered, a limiting belief that's being triggered from when you were a little girl at seven years of age. And at seven years of age, your throat chakra shut down. And you began losing your ability to communicate and create healthy boundaries. In Chinese medicine, it has to do with your wood element, how you grow. And um, the pattern that you're repeating is a pattern at seven. And so let's unpack that a little bit, okay? So when you were seven, you were in an environment of depression. You were in an environment of resisting the future. You were in an environment of lost self-respect. What do I mean by that? What I mean is the people around you reactively thought and felt and spoke and behaved in a depression, resisting the future and lost self-respect when you were seven. At seven, you didn't have the consciousness to create authentic and reciprocal and loving, loving, yummy, delicious relationships. And your environment, like you do now, you know how to create a great relationship. You get it. You're totally secure, amazing, beautiful woman. You know how, but when you were seven, you didn't have that ability in your environment when you were seven, couldn't guide you, lead you, mother you, father you in any way that they didn't know. And they didn't know how to consciously communicate. And the seven-year-old, when it gets triggered, is showing up as your partner, shutting down and drifting. That's the same vibration of the seven-year young environment. And I invite you right now, with love, connect to your heart and connect to that seven-year young part of you and embrace her. Embrace her with compassion and acceptance and feel inside love for this beautiful little girl because as you are loving this little girl, you're changing your attractor field in the dynamic of intimacy and relationships that you're creating in your life. So when, when, I'm, when I do that, what, what is the outcome of that? Well, join me here. I invite you to repeat after me. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. There you go. One more time. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. I'm curious. What, if you could choose to feel anything in your relationship, what is it that your heart desires to feel? Remember to focus on where you're going. What does your heart desire to feel? It, it wants to feel loved. Your heart desires to feel loved? Yes, it wants to feel, I want to feel loved. Okay, and connect to the seven-year-old and let the seven-year-old say this, I am loved. I am loved. Let's do it again. And I know he does. I am loved. I am loved. This is not about him, sweetheart. I know, I know. So it's not about him. So this is about me having insecurities. Go ahead and say it. I am loved. I am loved. The love and gratitude. Love Are you gratitude. open, ready, and w- yeah? Are you open, ready, and willing to use your imagination? Always. Awesome. Imagine that you are living the life of I am loved, and you know it. You know it. You feel it. You believe in it. You live it. And now you're in relationships where you are truly loved. How come you love yourself, and therefore? You can love others and others are loving you. How does it feel to imagine? I mean, really imagine it. Walt is the imagination. How does it feel to imagine? Amazing. It does. And now feel that amazing feeling. That's it right there. Right there. That's the healing. Right there. Yeah. Joy. Feel it right there. Feel it. That's the shift. That's the seven-year-old waking up to your future. Amazing, most delicious, awesome, beautiful, compassionate, real relationships. That amazing feeling right now, that is, that's called medicine. And that is a shift from a toxic mind that is looking outside of you. Don't look outside of you to fix a relationship. Look inside, my love. And when you feel that amazing feeling, that came from where? Inside of you. That is a shift on that seven-year-old part of you. And I'm telling you, right on 10 sticky notes, I am love feeling amazing. It, make, it, make it your affirmation. Say, I am love feeling amazing 100 times a day, 200 times a day, and just exercise that. And I'm confident that that is a good beginning for a nice change for you, okay? Is that a change in life in general or just with with the question that I was asking? Well, everything's interconnected, isn't it? 
Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. You answered your own question. Isn't this amazing? Kim, this is amazing. Yes. It That's is. So you true. said, I, I love feeling amazing. Is that what you said? Yeah. That's what you said. I am loved feeling amazing. That's your intention, sweetheart. Absolutely. I am loved. Mm. And it feels amazing. Okay. Good. Well, okay, thank you for that. Lovely. So, Carmen. Carmen. Thank you. Can, can I? Yes. Can I, can I give you his birthday? And you just uh, can't. You, can, you know what? I want to take you. I give you a free session because I want to take some other people on this on this radio show. Uh, call me for a free session or send me an email at Carmen Harayuel and we'll do his codification and everything else separately. Is that okay? Yes, that's fine. I'll okay. do that. Thank okay, you so much. Kid. I love you, my Have sweetheart. A good night. I'm going to go too. to um, Abina in Oregon. Hi, my dear. Hi, Carmen. Uh, it's good. Hi, Dr. You are Darren. tonight with the amazing Dr. Darren Wiseman, my friend, and he's... Um, Answering your questions, what, what is your um, what, what is your concern for tonight? What what are you learning from this show? I do love the part with detoxifying my mind. So basically, yes. when making choices in life, how much trust can I put on my mind if I know that it might need to be detoxified first before I take an important decision? Like where, how you know, do I it's recognize? an amazing question. What's your name again? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, you didn't hear it. What's your name? It's it's Abina. Abina. Abina, mm -hmm. this is an amazing uh, question because the reality is we do not want to make a decision from a reactive place, right? right? Decisions made from you know a reactive place are never our best decisions. So. We, you know, if you've got a big thing going on, you, you want to get your, you know, like, for example, like Kim will make a better decision in an I am love feeling amazing way versus sad and anxious. That's an example. So whatever you've got going on, you want to make sure that you begin to shift that reactive, driven, fear-based part of yourself. And you'll discover that the decisions you make are so much more confident and clear and authentic with who you are. It's really a great question. Is there a decision for you that you have got going on right now that you're struggling with? Um, I cannot say that I'm struggling is that I have lots of interests, lots of, lots of passions, and I've been uh, getting good results in all these fields. And I, I feel like it's the moment that I choose, let's say, just one field of activity, hobby, I don't know, something. So I do like to teach. I do like to write, publish. I do like tr to travel. I like fashion. Mm -hmm. I like to nurture souls and plants. I like lots of things. Yeah. Um, and I know how to organize my energy, so I don't, I'm not losing myself in uh, in the same time in multiple directions without getting any like results. But I feel like there is a point where uh, I'm in front of a new door uh, to a new stage in my life in terms of uh, soul development, mind development, or the whole myself development. Um, and I want to take full advantage of this moment because I feel I have that energy i'm ready for it but i'm awesome but before i invest myself i just want to make sure um i'm objective enough and i'm choosing mm -hmm. right the right door yeah yeah it's amazing i love where you're coming from right now it's interesting because um the part of you that is doubting or questioning like as far as like just fully just stepping in to the next stage of your soul mind development, your, all your amazing, beautiful passions, Sabina. Um, th this is a, it's, it's interesting. This is a part of you, like, like within the like moment after your birth, this is like right at the moment of your birth, you were in some kind of trauma. Uh, it's cause it's tied in with your crown chakra and it's tied in with your earth element, which has to do with your mother, mother earth. And there's a pattern here of 
anxiety about the future, which is interesting, uh, low self-esteem, and feeling invisible. Those are, this is it, at the moment of after birth, you were in an environment where your mama was in a reactive mind of low self-esteem, anxiety about the future, feeling invisible, and in a real kind of victimization kind of energy. And at one hour after birth, or like within the first hour after birth, you didn't have the consciousness to go, you know what? New stage of life, soul development. Here I am. I'm on planet Earth. I'm being born. <laughs> right? You didn't have this. You didn't have that kind. You didn't have a Dr. Carmen Hara um, radio show at that time to call and say, "Hey, I want miracle guidance right now, right when I'm born." That's yeah. like not a bit. Right? That wasn't a bit. That was not available right after your birth for you or the right. world you were a part of. And so, this part of you shows up in this questioning and this doubting. And I invite you, have you ever seen someone in American Sign Language express the words, I love you? Do you know that hand posture? Mm, no. Sorry, so but if no. you, it's okay, if you open up your palm, like you're gonna give me a high five, but just bend your middle finger and ring finger down and keep your thumb, mm -hmm. index, and pinky extended. That means I love you in American Sign Language, put that over your, your, the center of your chest. Put that right over your heart. Okay, and I invite you to just go inward right now and embrace this very vulnerable, beautiful, newborn Albina who's come into this world. And you know you would never choose to be driven by anxiety about the future, low self-esteem, feeling invisible. You'd never choose to carry patterns that are reactive from your own mother. And now go deep into your heart. Go really deep. Go past all the pain. Go past all the, the limitations, the negativities, and connect to the truth of who you are. And when it comes to this new stage of your life and your soul and your mind development, what does your heart desire to feel? And let it come from within you. Let your highest self answer. What does your heart desire to feel? Equilibrium. 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 And it, and peace. Yeah. Mm, how beautiful. Say it out loud three times. Say, I am equilibrium and peace. I am equilibrium and peace. Three times. I am equilibrium and peace. I am equilibrium and peace. There's the vibration. And right now, as you acknowledge the meaning of this and the value of it and the power of it, are you open, okay. ready, and willing to use your imagination? Absolutely. So imagine you are in your life and you have developed your soul, you've developed your mind, and you are living in this life of equilibrium and peace. And just notice how it feels to be in your heart space, how it feels to be in your body and your skin right now. Breathe it in. I am equilibrium and peace. How does it feel to imagine, Alvina? Easy. Easy? It feels easy. It yeah. feels like I can breathe. Yeah. And, and just, uh, yeah. like I'm transparent. I don't know. Yeah. You just feel that because that feeling right there, it lets you know that the equilibrium and peace already lives inside of you. It's already there. You wouldn't be able to feel the easy, you wouldn't be able to feel that breathing feeling unless it already did. And that right there is what I call mind medicine. That feeling of easy and easier to breathe is your cells in your body producing a chemical reaction because you just changed the reactive mindset from the newborn part of you into an active consciousness of equilibrium and peace. I invite you to repeat after me, infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. Think about your mom right now. I invite you to repeat after me. Did you wait first and foremost? Is your mom in the physical world or the spiritual world? In the physical world. Okay. I invite you to repeat after me. Mom. Mom. I know. I know. That you love me. That you love me. And that you've always loved me. And that you've always loved me. And that you will forever love me. 
and that you will forever love me. The very best way that you know how. The very best way of you know how. And I accept you, Mom. And I accept you, Mom. I forgive you. I forgive you. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. For being one of my very greatest teachers. For being one of my greatest teachers. I love you so much. I love you so much. You are loved. You are loved. You are pure love. You are pure love. And mom? And mom? By the way, by the way, <laughs> I am equilibrium and peace. I am equilibrium and peace. I'm feeling easy. I'm feeling easy. I'm breathing easy. I'm breathing easy. This is my nature. This is my nature. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. Abina, you just did so amazing. You just Thank you. you just created <laughs> you just created a significant shift. A significant shift on a subconscious level. And just like I told Kim, like write down your intention. I am equilibrium and peace, feeling easy, like breathing easy. And make that your affirmation. Make that your mantra. Make it your meditation. It'll make a big difference. And there's so much more to do in there, but this is a really great beginning of creating a huge change for you, my love. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Uh, Weissman. My pleasure. I appreciate your work. Um, and uh, thank you, Dr. Hara. I admire you, and I have lots of your books. Uh, been reading them since 2009, um, oh. back in Spain on a nice uh, sunny day on a beach <laughs> near the Mediterranean Sea. That's where I firstly read uh, uh, the codification of the destiny. Yes. Okay, my love. Thank you so much for calling. I am so grateful. You can see how amazing Dr. Darren is. He's just uh, incredible, incredible. What Absolutely. It means to be able to have this power of healing and have all the knowledge to do it. I think, uh, Dr. Darren, we're going to take a short break and then we're going to take a last call and we're going to be at the end of the show. We're going to take Pauline. So, Pauline, hold on the line and we're going to take a very short break. Cool. Um, my mm -hmm. producer said that we can continue because it's too late to take the break, but we're going to go to Pauline. Is Pauline available? Yes, I am. Thank you. Hi, beautiful Pauline. Me. How are you, my love? Uh, I'm fine. And by the way, I got my bracelet. Did you get the good, message? Good, good, okay. good, good. Um, Excellent. My so question you, are tonight, is, you have this privilege to be with, with Dr. Darren. I know. So, I was going along. I mean, I needed both of those healings, and I actually felt that. I was crying just before. <laughs> Thank you. That was really a blessing, and I'm going to look forward to that webinar that you're going to you offered everybody. I'm coming. Awesome. Um, Good. I have a question. If yeah. the person has their brain has like let's say has brain injury or like uh, yeah. will that affect doing the subconscious or would that help even more? No, it, 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 you can help people that have uh, traumatic brain injuries. You can. I actually I want to read something to you. Um, where is it? I want to read this. I just got this just a short bit ago. Um, wait, where is it? Hold on a second. Yeah, wow. Um, I cannot thank you enough for what you do at the Lifeline Wellness Center. I'm grateful for the Lifeline Technique sessions. The very best part is the brain injury from the car accident over 12 years ago is totally healed. Thank you for the possibilities, Dr. Darren. You are the best. So that's a great question because I literally just got that um, testimony uh, from somebody who just had sent yes. that to me. Yeah. People totally aren't amazing. aware that they even have brain trauma. I mean, it could be oh, like post-traumatic right. or it could be just not totally. physical, but both. I mean, and people have had exactly. strokes and everything else. And there's like so yeah. many people out there that this would, well so said. This would work on that. That would be great if they can do the subconscious and it heals everything. Like you said, it, the body heals as soon as you yeah. get through into that subconscious then, wow, we're really healing even ancestral, everything, the whole line, future and past, it sounds like. It yeah, really goes deep. it is. 
It did. Wow. It does really go deep. And it's really interesting too, Pauline, because when the subconscious mind gets triggered, you know what happens is that it triggers the heart. And when it triggers the heart, the heart beats based upon the memory of the mind that's triggering it. But the, the heartbeat sends a signal to the brain. And now the brain uh, forms chemicals and information channels based upon the beliefs that live in our subconscious mind. So we literally, what you just said is so brilliant, Pauline. We literally can get brain damage from core limiting beliefs in our mind that hijack our heart that affect the neural network of our brain. But you can change that. And that's the beauty. Wow. Okay. Thank you. That's a great I'm glad I asked it. <laughs> I got my healing listening to the others you before did, me. You did. And we guys Thank got you, at Tom. the end of the show. I love you. And Dr. Wiseman is offering a, a free webinar called Evolve Your Mind, Change Your Life. And it's going to be live Saturday, May 1st uh, at 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And Dr. Darren, I am so grateful. I am so grateful for being my guest. And Please, let's do a, a, a live on Facebook together. So, you guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you know when we're going to do that. And, uh, and again, infinite love and gratitude, Dr. Darren Infinite Weisman, love and gratitude.